Well, Dion, welcome. The next chapter of your career will be spent here at Birmingham City. How much are you looking forward to it? Delighted. I'm so excited. Um, once I heard the news, couldn't wait to get it done. Um, being here, as soon as I come in the first, well, today, the first hour coming, I just had a big smile on my face all around the camp. So it's unbelievable to be here. You'd have had different options and I'm sure offers to go elsewhere. So why Blues at this stage in your career? Um, obviously, being down the road helps as well, um, local. And um, I think they've got a great team. It's a, a big club and hopefully it'll be a chance for me to play and impress the manager and also help the team out, fight them out the table. Yeah, supporters will know that you're a, a defender by trade, but tell us a bit more about your style of play for those who have never seen you. Um, quick defender, quick centre-half, like to play football a lot. Um, technically, I uh, think I'm very good. I'm also aggressive as well. I don't give strike, strikers any chances really, um, so that's, about, that's all about me. Yeah, as you say, defenders are there to defend first and foremost. Yeah, but of course. Do you see the fact that you can distribute with the ball at your feet and your ability in possession is a big plus to you? Yeah, definitely. It's um, another option or a way out if you want to play out from the back and you know having that extra body and helping out the midfield, being able to play football. Is it about forcing your way into the side first of all? Everyone joins a new club and then it's, OK, what's next? There's a short-term goal, just establishing yourself as part of the squad. Yeah, definitely. I think... Um, Everyone wants to play football, everyone wants to be in that starting eleven, and there's always going to be competition. Um, as long as it's healthy competition, it's good competition in my eyes. Let's talk about your career so far. I came through the ranks at, at Wolves. What was that like as a, a schooling? Um, it was good. Obviously, it's my hometown club, so um, seeing all the players and training with the first team, like, it was a, 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 an experience for me and also like an eye-opener, like, wow, I can't believe I'm training with this player or whatnot. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been class so far and then obviously I went on loan to Cardiff, um, played right back there, had a fair few games, I think it's like 10, 11 games there, um, enjoyed my time. And then I went to Sunderland and played in my natural position, centre half. And that was just to get more experience and also be able to play in my position and the opportunity was given to me and it's been, it's been good ever since. Yeah, you mentioned that, the ability to play at right back at Cardiff but then to go back in at centre-half at Sunderland. Do you see yourself very much as a central defender? Yeah, um, I'm a centre-half, natural centre-half. But at the end of the day, I think wherever the gaff wants me to play, I'll, I'll do my best there and I'll give my all. What are those experiences like? Tell us about, you know, you've had championship experience at Cardiff, at right back, like you say, and then Sunderland to play as many games as you did is a massive plus for someone you're Yeah, own. yeah, I, obviously I'm still young as well. Um, I think Cardiff, with the fans there, it, it was class. Obviously, without the fans and all the cold and whatnot, it, it kind of killed everything off. Um, Sunderland was class as well. It was another great experience playing with all the older lads and the experienced players, and then being able to play in my natural position just summed it all up for me. Yeah, it seems to be an exciting time here at the football club. Lots of new faces through the door, lots of positivity and optimism with the way we finished last season as well. Do you sort of share that feel-good factor when you arrive here? Yeah, of course. I think you can see as well when I'm walking around the place, like everyone's just in a great mood. Um, everyone's excited and ready to go for the new season. Um, I've seen you giving <laughs> Jordan Graham some <laughs> sticker already on Twitter over the weekend. Does it help knowing someone already here at the squad? Yeah, and yeah, What was wrong with his shirt? You can tell us it's about just it. It's a bit tight and... <laughs> I don't know, extra, extra small, I'm not too sure, but nice. Um, yeah, of course, it helps. I've known no Jordan quite a while now. Um, and yeah, I'm just delighted to be here, like I said. What do you want to get out of this season? Like you say, we mentioned breaking into the team first and foremost, but do you set your sort of goals, ambitions on, on any further than that? Um, not really. With myself, I've got expectations for myself just to do well here, um, do whatever I can to help the team out first and foremost and help the gaffer out. And yeah. Um, I haven't really got any long-term goals at the moment. We just take every game by game and every day by day. Finally, to have fans back in the stadium is going to be a huge plus for everybody this year. As a player, how much are you looking forward to that? I'm excited. It's been so long without the fans and I think football's missed that. Um, you know, with the fans being back and it's just that motivation. You play for the fans at the end of the day, so I can't wait to go and meet the fans. Dion, thanks for talking to us and look forward to following your journey. Thank you.